This clinical case deals with a 66-year-old man who has a medical history of recurrent abdominal pain and chronic diarrhea. He was admitted to the hospital for intestinal obstructive syndrome. The colonoscopy shows ulcerated ileocecal valvula and several ulcerations of the terminal ileum. A small bowel video capsule was performed after appropriate bowel preparation, 2 liters of polyethylene glycol. The first step is to select the name of the patient from the list. This screen displays all of the features of the reading software, with the most useful for diagnosis being the express selected mode. At this stage, the quality of the recording is assessed, including the presence or absence of debris or bubbles. The 3D tracking graph is activated by thumbnail images of landmarks. For example, the first gastric image, the first duodenal image, and the first cecal image. Individual images can be enhanced or reviewed using these software functions. However, the diagnosis relies on the express selected mode, which allows selection of video images. The red color overview does not show any sign of bleeding. In overview mode, some debris appears in the last part of the ileum. However, the normal mode must be used to find the abnormality. Images are captured as thumbnails. In the distal ileum, fluid and debris are indirect signs of potential stenosis. Ulceration is clearly visible with a tight stenosis. Sequences have to be reviewed, as minute abnormalities are often missed. Express selected mode is particularly useful, as it significantly reduces the reading time. 
In such cases, it is wise to review capsule images sequence by sequence in order to avoid eye fatigue or loss of concentration. In overview mode, debris and inflammation are evident in the last part of the ileum. Abnormal images are assessed by sequence of images or enhancement of the image. In the last part of the ilium, a very tight stenosis with ulcerations and inflammation can be seen. Despite the stenosis, the capsule was able to move on to the colon cecum. In order to complete the report, adequate thumbnails are selected and included in the printed report. Medical terms stored in the software can be used to write the report. A physician signature is mandatory before saving and finalizing the video recording diagnosis. <laughs>